Hey YouTube, welcome to another episode of News in Two Minutes, bringing you the news that you need to know every day. Let's begin. Ecuador's Tungarawa volcano has erupted, sending ash and stone more than 15,000 feet into the air. The eruption caused officials to evacuate local residents, raise the country's volcanic alert level, and sent seismic waves that were felt hundreds of miles away. Israel's prime minister delivered both an update and a sharp threat to Jewish and American audiences on Sunday, saying that Iran has achieved 190 kilograms of enriched uranium, just 60 kilograms short of the amount needed to make a nuclear bomb. The prime minister went on to say that Iran would reach the predetermined red line within weeks, and that Israel, either acting alone or with its allies, will stop the Iranians from making a nuclear device. While seen mostly as a rhetorical speech, we note Israel's willingness to act alone and closely remember the June 7, 1981 bombing in Iraq, dubbed Operation Opera, in which the Israeli military carried out the bombing of an Iraqi nuclear reactor that it warned would be used to make a nuclear weapon. On July 2nd of this year, an anti-propaganda act which protected American citizens from governmental propaganda and psychological operations was lifted, allowing nationwide programming produced by the Broadcasting Board of Governors to be disseminated to news agencies throughout the nation and in all forms of media. Scientists have discovered a radioactive substance in a lake used for drinking water in Switzerland. The report comes nearly three years after the readings were found, with both environmentalists and well-minded politicians demanding answers and the rest of the world wondering why nuclear regulators would allow this to happen. A new disease bringing swollen and often bleeding lesions has apparently jumped from horses to humans in Australia where health officials say dozens of people have reported ulcers and other symptoms after coming into contact with the animals. The Australian government is working hard to determine the classification and cause of the virus, and we look to a rise in global virulence that has caused worsening disease throughout the world as both Earth and its inhabitants continue to change. And to wrap things up, Egypt's interim leader swore in a new vice president, China's economy weakened for a second quarter this year, the Syrian army has moved in on Damascus, and missiles fired from an unmanned military drone have killed 19 suspected militants in Pakistan. And that's it for this episode of News in Two Minutes. Check back tomorrow for more news that the aware need the most. This week's News in Two Minutes is brought to you by shtfplan.com, where even the officials go for news, and sqmetals.com for all your precious metal needs.